Hello. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Lion Habitat Ranch and hello Facebook. Uh, my name is Megan. This here is Cameron. And the star of our show is this pig guy right here, Ozzy. And today we are going to be painting some Sleeping Beauty inspired colors. Uh, so we're going to do one that's got pink and one that's got blue so it's like her two dress colors. Are you ready to go? So Ozzy is a reticulated giraffe. He is currently six years old and he is about 16 feet tall. Uh, believe it or not though, he's actually not quite done growing. Giraffes usually grow until they're around seven years old. So he's still got a little more to go. Eagle. Now he knows that he's not supposed to be uh, painting with his mouth full. Uh, so after he is all done chewing, uh, he's going to come back down and he's going to stick his tongue out at me. And that is just his way of telling me, okay, I'm all done chewing now, I'm ready to go again. Just like that. Now that super long tongue of his grows about one inch right Oh, thank you so much for your growth. donation, Jennifer. So since he is about 16 feet tall, that means his tongue's about 16 inches long. You just did a dot that time. <laughs> Uh, giraffes are herbivores, which means they only eat plant material. Ozzy is a very picky eater. Uh, so if you were around before the show, you saw me trying to feed him some broccoli. I just had to make sure that he wanted broccoli, because sometimes he says, no, I don't want broccoli, I want Brussels sprouts instead. Or, you know, it just depends on whatever mood he's in. Also, if I were to go and feed any of the lions, if I didn't wash my hands, oh. Shen, it's so greatly appreciated. Uh, he would say that I still smell like meat and be like, you stink. I don't want anything for you. And since they uh, are herbivores, that means that they are a prey species. Out in the wild, giraffes are known as the sentinels of the savanna. And since they're so tall, they can see predators coming from a greater distance away. Uh, so shorter prey species like zebras or gazelles will actually Oh, thank you, Madison. We appreciate that. And they, they watch them. When they see the giraffes start to run away, they know something must be coming, so then they'll run away too. Now, since he is a prey species, you may be wondering, how does Ozzy feel about living on a property with 31 lions? Well, Ozzy says it's not a big deal. He knows that he's way bigger than them. Uh, the biggest lion that we have here, his name is Dude, and he weighs around 600 pounds. When Ozzy here is fully grown, he's going to weigh about 3,000 pounds. Each of his hooves will be about 12 inches across for the size of your Thanksgiving dinner plate. And all four of his legs can kick in any direction, with one kick being strong enough to take out a fully grown lion. So Ozzy doesn't really have anything to worry about. In fact, out in the wild, the giraffe Ozzy's size, really the only time they're ever vulnerable is when they are drinking water. This is because they have to splay their legs out to the side and bring their head all the way down to the ground. And it's quite the vulnerable position for a giraffe, and it can take them some time to stand back up again. That's good. He just finished the blue canvas, now he's going to do the pink, and then we'll have a poll later to see which ones you guys like better. And since Ozzy knows that he is safe here, he'll actually do something that you'll pretty much never see a giraffe do in the wild. And that is he actually lays down. Uh, out in the wild, uh, giraffes will sleep standing up with their eyes wide open so that predators uh, can't tell if they're asleep or not. Um, but since Ozzy knows that he is safe here, he will sometimes actually lay down inside his barn. He has a nice little bed of shavings in there. So he will lay down and take his naps. Generally speaking, though, Thank you so much for your donation, uh, Sarah. Greatly appreciated. That probably means that he's asleep. 
A couple of you guys saw him do that earlier. <laughs> Giraffes can fully see in color just like we can, so he is choosing where he wants to put each color on the canvas. Good job. And since he can't see in color, again, that means that he does have favorite colors and colors that he doesn't like as much. And the ones he doesn't like as much, you can see on the side of the barn over there. And they also end up on us. Uh, so Ozzy's really good at doing manicures. He hasn't got you yet this time. <laughs> um, he's really good at doing manicures, and if we're not paying attention, uh, he will do some face painting or hair streaking as well. But aside from being an artist, though, Ozzy does actually have kind of a serious job here. Oh, thank you so much, sir. We appreciate that feedback. An animal ambassador for his species, so he is here representing giraffes that are out in the wild. He wants to let everybody know about the silent extinction that giraffes are currently facing. And the reason why we call it a silent extinction... Oh, that was a bad carrot. <laughs> the reason why we call it a silent extinction is because not a lot of people know about it. Uh, a lot of people know about the elephants or the rhinos, but no one really knows about the giraffes. Uh, but in the past 20 years, we lost about 80% of the wild giraffe population. That is mostly due to habitat loss, but hunting and poaching do play a part in that as well. So I think he just wants to remind everybody that the only appropriate way to shoot a giraffe is with a camera. Ozzy loves to have his picture taken. Just be sure to tag him on social media at hashtag Ozzy the giraffe if you do take some pictures of him. Try and get a little more on there. And since he is only six years old, we generally try to keep these demonstrations on the shorter side because he has kind of a short attention span. And we also always like to end our sessions on a positive note. And he's doing really well right now. So I think we'll do one more stroke, try to get some more sparkles on there, and then we'll call this good. Finish chewing. Alright, last stroke, Ozzy. Good job. Alright, everyone, if you enjoyed Ozzy's show, could you please give him a big round of applause? Yay, Ozzy! I think they liked it. Can you go ahead and take a bow? Good job. I thank you guys so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed Ozzy's show. And thank you to everybody on Facebook Live who's still watching. Thank you. Thank you guys so much and everyone who donated today on this live. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who's come out to visit us so far. We really appreciate your support. We couldn't do it without you guys. We hope to see you all soon. And we'll have tomorrow's streaming safari posted a little later today. And I will post those paintings that Ozzy did just a little bit later. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you later.